This method is so safe, it's like putting a huge rubber over your actual Android device and it Hello everybody, it's me, Game Jacker, and today I'm gonna show you how to safely get an Android device rooted. Now, you might have your own reasons for wanting to routerino your Android device, but you don't want your device to get bricked, you don't want to get jacked, you don't want to get any kind of malware. You are just a little bit risk averse and you want to play it safe. How do you do that? Now, this might already give away what we're going to do. But first, I want to introduce you to our sponsor. Of course, it's Jackerbot.net. Your number one cheating website for Android and any other cheating platform, gaming platform, just head over to HackerBad.net by simply googling game hacks or HackerBad. Go to HackerBad.net to find legitimate cheats from the best providers out there. Only clean and safe downloads that you might want to even install on a rooted device that is much easier to infect, which is why you want to do it safely. Now let's go back to how to get a safe rooted Android device. This already shows you I'm using an emulator. This is the number one tip that I can give to anyone. Even if you have to buy an old PC in order to do this, emulators are magic. They are an Android device, but it's a virtual machine running on a Windows computer, which means if anything goes bad, if anything goes wrong, there is no harm done. You can simply uninstall the emulator, reinstall it, and you are back to where you started. No harm done, no bricked phone, no nothing. And the thing about the usual methods of routing Android devices is that they are oftentimes irreversible. So once you have rooted the device, there is no going back, updates may not work anymore, and if you download any kind of weird app, if you're not using, with other words, if you're not using for example, jackerbot.net in order to find your cheats from legitimate providers that are offering clean software, um, then you might be in trouble because it's so easy to just simply go to Google, um, Google some kind of, a, I don't know, a coin master hack and download some unlimited everything mod and then you're infected and your phone is bricked and you can basically throw it away because it's gonna spam you with ads non-stop <laughs> and probably use your phone as a crypto miner as well. So please be careful, use HackerBot.net, Google HackerBot for that. Now, in this case, for example, this is the emulator that I'm using. Links as always in the description if you want to download this particular emulator. I'm gonna update the list over there um, with the best software at any time. Right now it's this one. All you have to do here is basically go to the settings enable the root and you have a rooted device. As you can see, I can use Game Guardian, which is of course the cheat engine of Android, a game cheating software to scan other um, processes running on my emulator, which means root access is absolutely working correctly because generally apps cannot scan other apps because it's a walled garden by default. So. This is how I do it. But there is a second step to this process. You're going to want to A, use an emulator that can be rooted. Again, list you can find uh, in the link in the description or you can just simply Google um, HackerBot emulator and you will find our list with the best rooted or rootable emulators for Android. And this one will be updated over time with the best ones available. Right now it's this one, which I highly recommend. But the second step again is to use a secondary account. Okay, so you're not using your actual physical device to do rooted stuffs on it. Um, if you must use your physical device, please use an old one. Don't use your a uh, thousand bucks flagship Android device in order to root the device. Um, luckily, usually roots are not available for the latest devices, so <laughs> the chance of people doing that kind of stuff is low anyways. But you're also going to want to use a secondary account, okay? So, with other words, if your main account is jimmy at gmail.com, then you're going to want to create a new email address. Let's say jimmy underscore trash at gmail.com in order to test the things that you're doing. 
because there are certain things, especially when it comes to the video games, the mobile games, if you are for some reason um, using this route, as many of my viewers will be doing, to cheat Reno in your video games, if you have used HackerBot.net for finding legitimate cheats and you want to use those cheats, you want to try just a little bit, you know, a little bit of a game, Jack. Um, then there are potential consequences if you install the app wrong, if you get reported. Um, there's just a few things that can go wrong. Even if your software is legitimate, you can get banned from the game. So use a secondary account. Even for those of you who want to just install some other shady mods or sh modded apps or whatever, um, if you are by some chance downloading something that is dangerous, then you don't want the people that made this fishy app to know your actual Gmail account. You want them to have the, your trash account instead. So please, use an emulator that can easily be routed. And secondly, use a secondary account. Use a trash account so that your main account and your ma main device is absolutely safe from anything because as the definition of Android root on Google tells you, um, it lets you edit system files. It gives you actual administrator access to your phone, which means you can basically do anything. Um, and it also lets you install apps from any source, which of course includes untrustworthy sources. Uh, so Google does check the apps that go onto their Play Store pretty well, all credits to them. And if you're going to download any random app from some fishy website, you are running the risk of getting infected. So please, use a emulator, use a rootable emulator, and use your secondary account. So your main email is safe from anything bad happening to it. So, and if you want to know more about how to use, uh, especially game cheats safely, head over to hackerbot.net, go to our FAQ down below. Um, how is, is game jacking safe or dangerous? And there you will have a huge guide on how to make sure that the mods and tools and the software that you're downloading to install on a rooted Android device, because all of you guys have a reason why you want to root your Android device. There is no reason why you would want your device rooted if you're just doing normal stuff on your device. Please make sure to follow this guide. This will also be linked down in the description and it will help you to take precautions to make sure to only have the best chance of downloading legitimate software that is not infected with any kind of malware, okay? Um, please be very careful because as soon as your device is rooted and you're granting root access to any app, the app can do anything with your device that it wants to. So please be very careful. This is no choking matter, especially if you're doing it with your physical device. Um, please be very, very careful. Anyways, guys, that is it from me. If you want, to get legitimate game jacks to use on your rooted Android device. Again, Google Game Hacks or HackerBot, HackerBot, and go to HackerBot.net. Download the legitimate Cheaterinos game, Jackerinos, today.